In the previous episode, we took out not one, but two bosses, and that was quite exciting. Got the Aquatic Scourge and the Twins down. Was expecting the Twins to be, or sorry, not the uh, the Aquatic Scourge, but the, uh, oh my goodness, get out of my, my face, uh, Queen Slime and the Twins. And I was expecting those two to be a bit more difficult than they were, but I think it's just because now we're at that, like, prime spot in the Calamity boss list where... We've gotten so much gear from the other bosses that we're, we're feeling pretty good right now. Uh, you guys in the comments had suggested that I go into uh, over here and I start getting the cryogen stuff or the, the cryo bars and whatnot. Totally agree. That is definitely what I want to do. But I need to apologize for a short episode. I am so exhausted. <laughs> I have been working on my office all day on top of all of the other work that I need to do. So I've, I, don't, I actually don't think I've been this tired since I moved into this house back in February. Like that's, that's how tired I am right now. I'm, I'm just done, I'm just done. My back hurts, my feet hurt. I've been on my feet all day, um, working on this butcher block uh, desk that we're putting in the corner. I got the eight foot piece done. It's already installed. And uh, now we just need the six foot piece done, which is also what I've been working on. And, it's it's been a long long day so what are we gonna do i'm just gonna go try to kill brimstone elemental and that's what we're gonna do in this episode charred idol how do we make one crap i need essence of havoc <laughs> and unholy cores all right we gotta go into the underworld try to get that i've gotten a couple comments in other videos and on a few previous ones where i'm talking about my office remodel that we're doing i got a couple people just being like hey man just don't don't burn yourself out I get that sentiment, I really do. But I think what people who are um, really unfamiliar with like working at home maybe, or just like having a area that you you do your work in within your home, I think it's a better way to put it, um, that is separate from everything else, that you, know, you just don't understand, is having an area that you feel really good in, and really creative in, just increases your your work ethic so much and your productivity goes through the roof so that's kind of what i'm doing here um is we're, we're getting that done we're we're putting as much work into the office as we can to make it a really good spot a really creative spot to be in so that way i can get all my work done throughout the day and and want to be in the office that's a big thing it's like leading up to this this remodel in our office um I the office has been a mess just because things have just been dropped in here um because we're doing other parts of the house too and it's like I we just had a bunch of crap stacked in here and you know what I just didn't want to be in here I just didn't want to work I didn't want to come in here and make videos I didn't want to uh, paint miniatures I didn't want to package orders or anything like that it's just been terrible to be in the office and now that we've gotten just this little bit done it's like night and day difference I'm like, i absolutely want to be in here now and that's going to lead to better videos and just like more energy for doing the stuff that i like to do so really good i'm i'm looking forward to seeing how exactly uh it looks when it's done I, you bet your butt i'm going to be posting pictures too <laughs> it's going to be fun I already have one like in progress picture with this this desk, but I'm not ready to share that yet. We'll we'll just post the whole thing when I'm when I'm done. Okay, what do I need? I need unholy cores. So we're gonna make uh we just need two of those, right? Make two of those, and then it is called the charred idol. Boom. Get that done and dusted. Had just enough souls accidentally. <laughs> Did not intend for that. It just happened to be that way. Cool, and now go do a bit of the boss. Actually, I kind of want to make an instant arena. Um, hmm, what's that called? I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> it's not the instant thing. It's a uh, city buster. I can't make one. Okay, what do I need to it? Uh, city, city buster. There it is. Um, oh, I just need the dynamite. Cool. Okay, I got a nice area cleared out here. We've used the um, city buster to clear all this out. So that should help a little bit. Just a tiny bit, hopefully. <laughs> here we go. Uh, some of the boss. I don't know how exactly I want to handle this boss. Um, in the past, I've always just used ranged attacks on her. 
but I'm kind of tempted to not, you know what I mean? She does kind of like to charge a bit, but I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try this weapon. We're gonna see how it goes. We're only doing one attempt. I should, I should have probably mentioned that right off the bat. This is one of my favorite calamity fights. Um, mostly because of the unique nature of the fight. I think it's definitely different compared to some of the other, um, like hard mode calamity fights that we get like right off the bat. Like it's better than cryogen for sure. And it's got really fun movement because of the projectile dodging. It's predictable, right? It's not like randomized projectiles. Um, that's one of the things that, let's get in there. That's one of the things that Fargo's does really good is having projectile dodging that is pattern based a lot of the time. That's not always the case. Most of the fights though are pattern based, which means that it's just takes time and effort to learn the, the pattern. And then once you've done that, you're like, you're in, you got the fight. And that's the whole goal. So, wow, this is taking a lot longer than I need it to. Um, it'd be really nice to have some additional damage, but I think the only way we're gonna do that is by handling this fight slightly differently. Um, I don't think this weapon is bad. I just don't think it is my best option here. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna switch to this and I'm gonna get all up in here for my adrenaline. Yeah, that was definitely the way to handle that. Cause she does kind of follow a little bit. So she will fall into the explosions and the explosions do follow me. So I can actually kind of, oh yeah, some good dodge in there. The explosions will um, run into her as, as they're following me around. Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna get adrenaline uh, again. Use my dodge on that one to get through that. Oh my goodness, so many projectiles. Oh no, don't die to the laser. No. <laughs> you know what? Give it to me. That was a pretty okay attempt there. I think I was getting a little lucky, but, um, yeah, at this point, what, what we need to do is just, I mean, I could do that fight and kill it. Sure. But what we really need to do is go get hallowed stuff, go get the cryo stuff and just kind of see what's good and experiment with items and then go back and kill her and just be done with it. And then after, after she's dead, I still have to do the acid rain. I'm not sure I'm going to get much from that, but I'll do that before, I guess, before I kill her. And then we're straight on to the Calamitous Clone, and that's going to be probably our first big challenge here. Um, and then we get into just like the madness that is right after that. You know, Plantera, we get into Leviathan, which is such a fun fight. Plague Bringer Goliath, like there's some there's some big hitters coming up here. Um, and I, I've, I've kind of been having an easy time of it on death mode so far, but it's about to get way harder. <laughs> 